Hello, welcome to The Real Review. Today we're taking a look at Fading Gigolo. But will this New York based rom-com simply fade away or will it be big pimping all the way to the bank? Let's check out the trailer. <laughs> Hello. You do this often? No. It's like candy, having sex with you. Your top shelf, hard to reach. That's what makes you so good. How many times did you do it with her? More than once? Mm-hmm. I'm very impressed. This makes it official. I'm your hoe. So that is the trailer, um, and from one gigolo on screen to another gigolo on screen, uh, Joe Forrester, uh, we sent you out to go and watch this. Uh, what did you think? I don't know what it says about me that I take being a gigolo as a compliment, but um, <laughs> yeah, thank you, Bex. Um, yeah, it's... Let's start with what's good. Okay. Um, the love story at the heart, and there is one hiding beneath it, um, is quite sweet. And ultimately, the message, I suppose, is that, um, is that love is more important than a mere physical knowledge of someone. Um, see, I'm really s- skirting around it here. Um, yeah, basically the setup is that um, John Turturro, who's the writer, star and director, is a down on his luck florist, mm-hmm. why not? Um, Woody Allen um, has a few um, very, very attractive, successful middle-aged women who are looking for no strings. Um, Say it again. S-E-X, sex people. We see it on screen all the time. <laughs> um, and Woody Allen basically becomes John Turturro's pimp. They make a lot of money. They're very successful. And these women are really very keen on it. He meets Vanessa Paradis, who's a, uh, a widowed wife of a um, Hebrew rabbi. And um, God, this is becoming more New York cliche. The more standards, <laughs> standards. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they there basically is a love story, which I suppose at the heart of it is quite sweet. So that's what's good about it. And if you're predisposed to like Woody Allen, then y- you might be a little kinder to this film than I'm just about to be. Okay, so when we talked a little bit before mm-hmm. we started recording today, you said that if there was any film out there that could combine all these different attributes to make it something that Joe Forrester mm. would hate, this is it. Mm. Why does this not work for a guy your age wanting to watch this film? I'd like to first off start and say that I'm not necessarily right, um, although I am. Oh, very diplomatic of you. Joe, it's the real deal here. If you don't like it, tell them why. No, but I mean, I am always right. This is is the thing, and I'm about to tell you why. Basically, I'm very aware I'm not the target demographic, okay? Um, It's more for a middle-aged audience who are more familiar with these kind of twee, very New York-centric, sort of rom-com movies it's very throwaway it's very flimsy Mm. the premise is ridiculous i don't know why sharon stone and sophia vergara um necessarily are so desperate for male contact um something that's never fully explored which is part of a problem but it's just like okay so here's an insanely beautiful successful woman oh yeah no she's definitely willing to give john Turturro, who's a florist 500 quid for a couple of hours it's like maybe she's just lonely well that's the thing that's not really massively emphasized okay um it's very New York centric. It's if you don't know much about the particular area and culture of New York where they are, it's not really. It, it's sort of a bit alien, and it, it just completely passes you by. And worse than anything, the soundtrack is predominantly jazz music. Can I just caveat? There is nothing wrong with jazz music. We quite like it here at the Real Deal. Thanks. I would <laughs> like to say there is something fundamentally wrong with jazz music. <laughs> Um, So unless you are a New York middle-aged Woody Allen loving hipster that enjoys watching Mm. middle-aged sex maybe Mm -hmm. then this isn't going to really be the film for you. What's the what's the real deal Joe? Yeah those guys are going to love it. Um, That huge demographic that that all the big movie studios are after that that very particular demographic they're going to love it. The real deal is um, if you like Woody Allen it's nice to see him on screen and he's great his timing's wonderful. It's quite a sweet story but it's ultimately I just thought Thank you very much for supporting that. Awkward. <laughs> Everybody needs contact. They need love. They need affection. They need passion. Do you know such a person? I do. A widow, huh? Yes. Is that part of the therapy? When you're ready. So that is the real deal on Fading Gigolo. To find out more about this May 23rd release and get more top-notch film fun, then subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us here on Twitter at The Real Film Show. Thanks for watching.